Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are very excited to provide you a special citizenship interview. This interview is a real case based on an actual applicant's experience. He passed the interview last month and has shared his experience with us. In this video, you will see how the officer asked the applicant regarding his N-400 application. Just so you know, these are real questions. It means you will probably be asked the same questions in your future interview. This video is very helpful for everyone who is learning for U.S. citizenship test. Let's get started. Good afternoon. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Good afternoon. What time is your appointment? 2.30 p.m. Can I see the paperwork? Sure. Thank you. You can go inside, remove everything in your pocket, take off your jacket and put it in the bin on the conveyor. Please walk through the metal detector, please. Weapons. Multidimensional detection is extremely uniform from head to foot. The opening portion of this video presentation pertains to the actual operation of the Magnascanner MT-5500. We urge that you require all of your supervisors to view this video. Please use the escalator on your right. Go to the third floor and check in at customer service. A lady will assist you with your appointment. Thank you. Have a great day. You're welcome. Good afternoon. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Hi. Can I have your appointment letter, please? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. I'll be checking the system very quickly. One second, please. Okay. All right. Everything is good to go. Here is your number. Please take your paperwork with you and wait for your turn. The immigration officer will be with you shortly. Thank you so much. You're welcome. P-25? That's me. Good afternoon. What is your name? Good afternoon. My name is Heido. I'm Officer Brad, and I'll be conducting your interview today. Follow me, please. Sure. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for asking. You can put your bag next to the chair, but please remain standing. I need to place you under oath before we start the interview. Please raise your right hand.
do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Please, take a seat. Thank you, officer. Now please, show me your appointment letter, your green card, ID, and your passport. Here you go. Thank you. How long have you been waiting for? I've been waiting for 20 minutes. I'm sorry about that. No problem. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Did your family come here with you? No, I came here alone. All right. I'll be taking your picture and collecting your fingerprints now. Please look at the camera for me. Good. Please put your right index finger on the scanner for me. Next, please switch to your left index finger. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to start with the civics test. Please answer out loud. First question, what is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Mike Johnson. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Great! You passed the civics test. I will move on to the English reading and writing test. I need you to read out loud the sentence on the tablet. How many senators does Congress have? Now, I will need you to write down a sentence on the tablet. You can use the stylus on the table. Just press the top button on the pen. You'll see a green light on the side. It's ready to use. Thank you. Congress has 100 senators. Congress has 100 senators. Let's see what you got. Perfect! You also passed the English reading and writing test. I will review your application. Hold on a second. I will open your N-400 form on the computer. Okay. What is your full name? My full name is Jairo Jimenez. You don't have a middle name. That's correct. 
I don't have a middle name. What is your name on your green card? Jairo Jimenez. What other names have you had? I have a nickname, Hi. All right. Have you ever changed your name before? No. Is your birthday on October 24th, 1981? Yes, it's correct. What is your social security number? 7644783254. Your country of birth is Mexico, is that correct? Yes, correct. Are you a citizen of Mexico? Yes, officer. Are you a citizen of any other country? No, officer. How did you get your green card? My sister sponsored me. How many years have you been a permanent resident? About eight years. Your date of residency is on July 4th, 2016. Is that correct? No, my date of residency is on June 24th, 2016. Okay, how tall are you? I'm 5 feet 8 inches. And how much do you weigh? I'm 152 pounds. What is your phone number? 573-424-128. Do you have an email address? Yes, I do. What is your email address? Jairo Jimenez 81 at gmail.com. What is your current address? 5852 Prince George Court, St. Louis, Missouri 63139. You lived here since May 15th, 2020, correct? Yes, correct. Your mailing address is the same as your current address? Yes, it is. Where did you live before? 4511 Eaton Street, Kansas City, Kansas, 66103. How long have you lived at that address? About four years. Where else have you lived since you became a permanent resident? That's it. All right. Is either of your parents a U.S. citizen? No, my parents are not U.S. citizens. Your current employer is Continental Equipment Company? Is that correct? Yes, officer. How long have you been working there? About four years. So you started working there on February 28, 2020? Yes. What is your employer's address? 2550 Cassins Drive, 
Fenton, Missouri, 63026. What do you do? I am a machine operator. Where did you work before? I worked at Kellogg Company. Anywhere else? That's it. Can you tell me if you are married, divorced, or single? I'm married. How many times have you been married? Two times. When did you first get married? I first got married on August 8, 2016. When did you get divorced? I got divorced on March 23, 2018. Can I see a copy of your divorce paperwork? Yes, here you go. When did you get married to your current spouse? I got married on May 5, 2020. What is your current spouse's full name? Her name is Marlene Gonzalez. What is your current spouse's birth date? August 22, 1988. How many times has she been married? She has been married once. Is your current spouse a permanent resident? Yes, she is. How many children do you have in total? Total, I have three children. I have two children from my current marriage and one child from the previous marriage. Are all your children biological to you? Yes. Is Mike Jimenez your son from the current marriage? Yes, officer. Do you have any daughters from the current marriage? I have one daughter. Her name is Linda Jimenez. Her birthday is October 6, 2021, correct? No, my daughter's birthday is October 16, 2021. Do all your children live with you? Two children from my current marriage are living with me, but the other one child from my previous marriage currently lives with my ex-wife. Do you support your child financially after the divorce? Yes, I send money to support him every month. How much do you pay for alimony? I pay $1,500 each month. Good. Do you have paperwork that shows your child support payments? Yes, here you go. Thank you. Are your children permanent residents? No, they are U.S. citizens. They were born in the U.S. Do you have any adopted children? No, I don't. Now, I'm going to ask you about your travel history. Have you taken any trips outside the United States in the last five years? Yes, I have taken three trips outside the United States in the past five years. 
Have you ever left the United States for more than six months? No. On the application, you stated you have two trips outside the United States in the last five years. Did you take the last trip after you filed the application? Yes, I did. Can you update the application? When did you leave the U.S. on your last trip? January 28th. 2024. When did you return to the U.S.? I returned on February 17, 2024. Where did you go? I went to Spain on vacation. All right. Where did you go on the other trips? The first trip I went to Mexico. The second trip I went to Canada. How long were these trips? The first trip was 28 days and the second trip was 14 days. Okay, one second. I'll update the application. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I'm going to ask you some yes-no questions. You can just answer yes or no for me. If you don't understand, let me know so I can repeat the question, okay? Yes, thank you. Have you ever been told that you are a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. What does O mean? It means to have a debt. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Yes. Have you ever been a member of Involved in any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with a terrorist organization? No. Have you ever been involved in killing or trying to kill someone? No. Have you ever been persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in any particular social group or political opinion? No. What does persecute mean? To hurt someone because of religion or political beliefs. Were you ever involved in badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? 
No. Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Have you ever been a member of a rebel group? No. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does to be cited mean? Given a ticket by police. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces, for any reason? Yes. The traffic tickets, correct? Yes, I have received two traffic tickets in the last five years. Please explain the traffic tickets for me. The first one is a red light ticket. I have received a ticket from the police for May 2021. The second one is a speeding ticket. I have received a ticket from the police for October 2023. Did you pay off both tickets? Yes, I already paid off the tickets. Do you remember how much you paid for these tickets? Yes, I paid $100 for the first ticket and $150 for the speeding ticket. Here are the receipts. Thank you. Did you go to court or just pay the ticket? I just paid for the tickets. All right. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. Have you ever smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. Have you ever lied to any government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No.
What is deportation proceeding? The legal process for removing or deporting a person. Have you ever served in the United States Armed Forces? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. What does bear arms mean? To own or use a gun to fight. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. All right. Please review the updated application on the tablet. And please let me know if everything is correct. Everything is correct. If so, please sign at the bottom. All right. Please review the Oath of Allegiance. Make sure your name is correct. This is important because this will be on your certificate. You can read the words to the Oath of Allegiance right now if you want to. But you don't have to remember because you will be receiving a piece of paper when you take the oath. Okay. Great. Please use the pen to move down the screen and sign to the last page. Awesome. You passed the interview today. Congratulations. Thank you so much, officer. You're welcome. Since you have two traffic tickets, I cannot approve your application right now. I need to submit your application to my supervisor for approval. Are you able to wait right here? Yes, take your time. All right, here is your test result. You'll receive a notice for the oath ceremony within two to four weeks. Please attend your oath ceremony on the date and time scheduled in the letter. Do you have any questions? No, thank you. You're welcome. And congratulations. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more.